apologies for my really bad hair day. I decided not to run back inside to get a hat. Three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's up, crew? So yesterday, I provided an off-the-cuff view of 17.2, just basically trying to get something out there as soon as possible for you guys to see and hear what I, you know, my initial thoughts of the workout. Uh, after I stopped recording and even while I was editing, Sarah and I even thought of a few more tips and tricks or ideas uh, going into the workout, which you may not hear until Saturday morning, maybe even later. So never know. You might be it might be 2019 right now, and you're watching this, and you want to retest 17.2. So here's some efficiency tips for that. Well, not efficiency tips. Here's some things to keep in mind. So for the general population, myself, Sarah, uh, a lot of the members at CrossFit Extreme, if you're just a weekend warrior that likes to hit the wads and you're not planning to make it to regionals. This is the type of workout you want to keep it realistic. So Sarah was uh, the one that came up with this. She was thinking about it. She's like, you know, bar muscle ups aren't my thing, but you know, I'm gonna go for RX and see where I can get with the bar muscle ups. So with that mentality, knowing that you're not gonna complete the full 16 reps on the first round of bar muscle ups, you should try to conserve as much energy as possible in the front end of that. Because the only reason why you wanna bust your ass doing the first half of this with the toes to bars is if you know you can complete the bar muscle ups and get back to the toes to bars again in this AMRAP. So for Sarah, she knows she's gonna break them up a lot more. She's not gonna do you know a set of eight, two sets of eight, she's probably gonna do fours. I'm probably gonna do fours, to be honest. Uh, Cause I'm probably gonna end up either doing doubles or singles on the bar muscle ups if I can even get the doubles. But that's something to keep in mind is that, you know, pace yourself so that you know you're gonna conserve your grip, you're gonna conserve your upper back, uh, you'll you'll not fatigue as much in the lower back uh, with the power cleans. And then of course scale appropriately. I actually got a message from one of the crew members asking about pull ups. Thank you for reaching out. I love that. Uh, don't honestly anybody out there who wants a little bit of uh, advice or efficiency tips, just shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll do my best to answer the question if I have time. Typically I do have time, so unless it starts to flood, you know, into my D my direct message in Instagram, I will let you know that I can't answer them. But for at least now, I will answer. So she asked about pull-ups and scaling and trying to get uh, an actual pull-up without an assisted band. What's good is she knows her limitation and she is going in there knowing that it's gonna be hard, but she's gonna go for it. This also kind of highlights the potential for an ego play, right? So I mentioned last week that redoing a workout is somewhat of an ego thing, and I hope no one took offense to that because you know I did it as well, and I, I sometimes I feel like it was an ego play, sometimes I feel like it was just because I knew I could do better, and I did improve, but when it comes to a workout that you know you cannot do, don't let your ego put you in a position that's either gonna injure you or set you up badly for the next week. If you want to go for it, that is totally up for you. So again, I say there's an ego part to this, but there's also a part to it where you might get your first bar muscle up because you went for it. And that is just as awesome. So know your limitation, but go for what you think you can do. Hopefully that doesn't sound too hypocritical or contradictory, but she's going to go for, you know, getting her first set of pull-ups and possibly unbroken. And, you know, hopefully my efficiency tips help you and let me know if they do. It'd be awesome if it does. And of course, get some video, make sure you hashtag big man syndrome. I think we're going off on a tangent, so I'm going to try to reel it back here. So pace the beginning of the workout, make sure you're doing what you can do. Unless you think you're that close to getting your first bar muscle up or your first chest to bar, your first pull up and you can go unassisted. And lastly, just like CrossFit has said, just have fun with it. I know these weren't super great efficiency tips or even just like setup tips, but you know, the biggest part about the open is having fun. If you really think about it, this is about, you know, the CrossFit athletes who are at the top. It's about celebrities, it's about billionaires, this is about the people you, m most of us aspire to be like, I wanna be famous, I wanna be rich. But if you really, really think about it, you sit down and think about it, there's a lot that goes into that. And a lot of the time, I don't think they're having fun. So you have a brilliant opportunity to enjoy this open and to do your best without stressing about making it to the next level or uh, qualifying for something. So just have fun with it. 
you know, enjoy it. I'm, I'm in between those two. I didn't place well in the first one, so now I'm thinking I need to just enjoy this one and see where I land. I don't know if top 200 is even in the cards. I got 1,000. 29th in the first workout so unless they come out with a a lift a max lift that's a part b uh, i don't think i'm going to be able to come underneath a thousand but we'll see i'm just going to keep it fun i'm going to try to do the best i can and then once this open is over we'll focus on that moving on with the day because we did a lot of talking right now i am going to run over to crossfit extreme athletics and meet up with neil and we're going to shoot a CrossFit style workout video where I'm just gonna follow him with the Ronin and his camera and Get some really really cool steady footage of him completing 17.2 uh, that will be uploaded next week probably on Monday 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time when all the uh, Scores are due Neil wants to make sure he keeps his uh, his secrets to success a secret until the last minute I'm gonna try to talk him into doing a live session at some point soon uh, so that maybe you guys can catch him doing it live. Let's see how long I got here. Eight minutes. That's way too much. <laughs> Rolling 
out the door. <laughs> I'm tired.